Welcome to TechBrother with Amir. In this video, we are going to learn how to read data from Azure MySQL or MySQL database in Azure Data Factory. We'll be reading the data and writing to the blob storage. To do that, first of all, we need to create Azure MySQL and then we'll be connecting to that MySQL from our workbench, create a database, create a table, and insert some data. Once we're done with that part, then what we are going to do, we are going to use Azure Data Factory and create a pipeline to read the data from the MySQL uh, table and uh, then write to the blob storage room. So there are tons of things that we will be doing it here so you can learn uh, uh, from step by step. Uh, let's go to the portal here and first of all uh, I'm going to be in the home and uh, right there what we are going to look for we are going to type uh, Azure MySQL. Once you do that you're going to see this Azure database for MySQL servers. Uh, now you're going to hit the create button here and it's going to give you two options. Uh, it's going to give you flexible server and a single server. If you are doing production or going to use this one for production environment, you're going to go with the flexible server. You can read all those details here. And if you are going to be just uh, uh, one of testing or uh, some existing application, you know, or basic uh, database management functions such as uh, patching, backups, and zoning and all that, you can go with this one. So it's uh, it depend upon you, which you, uh, what are your requirements. So in my case, I'm going to go with the single server for now because our goal is to just create a demo. Now it is uh, asking me my subscription. Then resource group is going to be tech browser resource group right there. And now we can provide the, the name. In my case, uh, I'm gonna go with the tech brothers. Um, that's it probably. We don't have to do MySQL or anything. So that's the name of our server. And then uh, it's going to be East US is fine. Now you have different versions of MySQL available. Uh, you can see right there we have a 5.7 and 8.0. Now, if I can go with the 8.0, that's fine. And uh, you wanna do data source uh, none or backup and all that. So different options you can select. Uh, let's go with the less cores uh, and see if we pay less money. So right here, uh, you can click uh, right there and just leave it two cores. Storage is just fine. It cannot be scaled down. Uh, um, so that's uh, we need it. And uh, here, storage auto growth, uh, yes or no. So you can set that all. Backup retention, uh, seven days. And you can see the price uh, right here. Um, so you are paying uh, $140 pretty much every month uh, that's fine uh, I'm not gonna pay that much because I'm gonna just delete after the demo so we have to provide the admin user here I'm going to call this one TB user and then I'm gonna provide my password uh, so that I cannot share with you guys because it's a very <laughs> personal and secret uh. I'm just kidding. It's very just normal DBA one two three dollar sign or something like that. Okay, so we are all good here. We are gonna go ahead and review, and or you can go to additional settings and further look into that. Uh, I'm not interested, and uh, I'm just gonna go kind of take a look here. All everything looks fine, uh, and I'm gonna go ahead and create. Uh, now we are creating this uh, MySQL or MySQL uh, database uh, right there. It's gonna take some time and uh, get it done soon. Uh. Our uh, MySQL server is ready and we can go to the resource here and now what we can see, we are going to see some information here. So you have right here, uh, this is a overview and uh, this is your server name, techbrothers.mysql.database.azure.com and it tells you TB at uh, techbrothers, that's your uh, admin login name and then uh, you have this uh, SQL version and uh, then the rest of that your vCores and uh, the storage. Now here is your resource group and the rest of the information is right there and uh, now what we can do, uh, here is a connection uh, security, you can uh, take a look on that one. Uh, so it says deny public network access. Uh, so uh, is that uh, we can set to yes or no and allow access to Azure services is uh, set to uh, no as of now. What I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and uh, select to yes uh, and I'm going to hit the uh, save because we will be selecting the data from the Azure Data Factory. So we need this one. Uh. Now what we can do from here, uh, let me go to the overview here and uh, then what we are going to do is we are going to copy this uh, server name. Uh. Now I will open uh, my uh, workbench, uh, my SQL workbench and then I will create a new connection. Uh. So I'm going to go right there and here uh, I'm going to call this one uh, Tech Brothers uh, MySQL. Okay, that's the name of the connection and here uh, I will be providing host name. 
and I just copy that host name if you remember it is a 3306 port now instead of root if you guys remember we have TB user and password so I'm going to provide that password and now we should be hit OK and we should be fine test connection it is asking a please uh, invalid user specified uh, please uh, check the username and retry connection again uh, and if you see that it is saying a username at the rate host name uh, so we have to say at the rate and then I can paste the whole thing actually so you can paste till here or you paste the whole thing let's test connection again and now it's an it's not allowed so if you guys remember that uh, one nine was six one six uh, six five one eight eight uh, so it means uh, it is getting to the Azure MySQL by uh, this IP is not allowed from this IP so we can go right there and uh, then add that so let's go back here and uh, go to the activity log uh, sorry connection security and see right there that's the IP so I'm gonna go ahead and hit add and then uh, I'm going to hit save so now we can access uh, the MySQL uh, uh, that's on Azure from our workbench that's on our local machine and uh, because we have added this IP there um, so let's wait for it and uh, then hit OK here I'm gonna test again and let's see it is asking me password and now I'm going to you can save the password if you want hit OK and uh, as uh, you can see right there it is telling me now I'm all fine and I will be able to connect hit OK and then I'm gonna hit OK again now my connection is ready I'm gonna double click and it should open our query window and from here we can see different things we can say show databases it is going to list the databases for me let's go ahead and let's see what databases we get see right there we have uh, information schema mysql performance schema and uh, sys uh, now if i will guess go and uh, take a look uh, select start from uh, mysql.user this table is going to return me a list of the users uh, and uh, see right there we have tb user that can access uh, this database from anywhere so percentage means uh, from anywhere so it can uh, it is good we can create different user if you want and give the permissions uh. so i'm going to go ahead and uh, create another database call let's call uh, let me make it a little big so you guys can see so create database and uh, let's call this the database so test okay so we call this test and then uh, uh, test database is created right there you can see and now i'm going to go ahead and say create table dbo uh, sorry create table customer and uh, one thing I want to do, I will say test.customer, okay? And ID, integer, name, varchar. Now we are all good here. And uh, this should create our table. And uh, let's run this. And now what we will do, we will insert some data here. So I'm going to say insert into test.customer and uh, values 1, comma, amir. And uh, that should do it. And now this is only one record we are inserting. Uh, so it's good for our testing uh, now let's just see if one record is inserted and I can simply select the data so I can select star from test.customer let me put this so it is showing us the uh, one record uh, now our table is ready we are all set here we can go to the Azure Data Factory and uh, so get the data from this table and create uh, our uh, pipeline um, so now let's go ahead and uh, search for uh, Azure Data Factory here in the portal and uh, let's open Azure Data Factory Studio and then we will uh, make some connection to the Azure MySQL uh, database uh, now go to the author and uh, here uh, what we can do we can start from here directly from the pipeline uh, and the new pipeline and I'm gonna use copy activity so in the copy activity what we are gonna do here we will make a source uh, connection right so in the source I need a new connection uh, and I need to uh, have a new data set that's gonna use uh, Azure MySQL so let me see if I do a MySQL yeah so Azure database for MySQL select that and then uh, we are gonna do new and here uh, you will be selecting your subscription and then server name tech Brothers is my server name and then port is a 336 and if you remember we created a database called test now we can provide the user tb user and then we will provide the password let me provide the password and then we will go ahead and test 
SSL preferred. So if I just leave this as it is. If I try to disable, it's going to throw me error because we have the SSL uh, there. So you see right there, in whatever user specified, please check the username uh, connection. The username should have, okay, the host. Remember that? So that's one of the problem at Tech Brothers. Now let's try that again. Uh, let me see what is uh, this is uh, it is I cannot tag brothers please uh, retry there is a or missing here brothers okay so now let's try now so test is successful so every time you provide your username you have to say the username as a rate and then server name so that's what uh, or host name that's what it will be and uh, if you guys see here if i will say disable it's gonna fail uh, ask me why because uh, if you go back to your uh, uh, server here and uh, you can see if let me take you back uh, to the uh, that's my resource group and uh, here is my tech brothers see right there my sql server so i'm gonna click right there and now you can go right there and uh, see more detail in the here probably you have uh, that uh, SSL enabled so if you disable it then you will be fine but as a SSL is enabled so that's uh, you can't do disable mode you're gonna be leave a uh, preferred as it is and then uh, just uh, use uh, the connection string uh, sorry test connection and it will be all good and here I can provide a MySQL so Azure MySQL tech brothers so this should create a connection and now we can select our table called customer and we can hit the none here and hit ok now we can preview the data here and it is, has only one record uh, one id and the name amir and now i can go to sync here and go to create and uh, i will go to the azure blob storage now i can create csv file or other different files what i would like to and then here i will be creating new linked service uh, I will be providing my subscription and then storage account that's my storage account tech brothers and that i can just leave as it is test the connection and then hit create now if i take you back to my storage so go to home here and that's my storage right there so i have two containers so i have input container and output container in the output container there are some files but we will create our new file with one record Let's uh, select our file path here. So as I showed you, there are two containers. I'm gonna you choose uh, output container, hit okay. And uh, yes, uh, first row as header is fine. And hit none uh, for import schema. Hit okay here. And now what we'll do, click open here and just provide the, the file name, uh, mysqlcustomer.csv. So that's uh, the name of the file. We are all good here. Our settings and everything looks great. Hit debug. Uh, our pipeline is in the queue right now and it should be going to progress and then uh, fin finishing up with that. So it finished us uh, with success, so that's great. Uh, I'm uh, very happy. Now you can see how many records is read. It read only one record because we had only one record in customer table. Now let's go to the output uh, container uh, refresh uh, and here we should see MySQL customer CSV file. Click right there and then uh, you can edit. Uh, you will see one record with ID and the name. So this is how you will create uh, your uh, MySQL in Azure Data Factory and then uh, create uh, the uh, link service and use uh, in the pipeline uh, to read the data or to write the data. It's very simple. Uh, if you want to use uh, another uh, account, uh, you can always create different account. Uh, so let's say if you don't want to use that admin account there, so in this case, uh, you will create another user. So let me sh share something like that and uh, you can use this script. Uh, so I will put this in description so it will be helpful uh, if you want to create a different user. So in this case, uh, let's say if I would like to create a user Amir who can access uh, from anywhere. So if uh, you are using some uh, specific IPs, you can provide IPs. In this case, uh, I'm saying from anywhere, my username is dba123. Then I'm saying grant all privileges on test to the, let's say Amir1. And that should uh, do it and now we will uh, flush the privileges uh, so if you go ahead and say execute it's executed successfully now you can grant everything uh, to this user looks good and then you say flush privileges uh. 
So now instead of using TB, use that's your admin. You can just use Ahmed who has only permission on test database, but all on all the objects. So let's take a look here again. So let's start from MySQL.users and now it will show you Amir. So look, look right here, Amir. And but Amir can access this database from any IP as I use percentage. Now we go back here and we will use this Amir1 user in our Azure Data Factory. Let's go back here in Azure Data Factory, go to the uh, linked services. So let me go to the briefcase here, linked services. And if you remember that we have MySQL and uh, then a tech browser, that's our linked service. So we've been using a, a TB user here. So we'll be using Amir1 here now. And our password is a DB123. And uh, we should be good here. We can test this. So, so test is successful for Amir123. Now, that's how you will uh, give uh, permission to specific users instead of using TB user that was admin and have access on everything. Now, in this case, uh, you will create a user and give permission to specific objects um, and then use them in Azure Data Factory. So our uh, we can apply and now our linked service will use uh, Amir1 uh, to connect to the MySQL test database and select the data for us. So I thank you for watching with this video. I will put the script in the description. Please go ahead and subscribe my channel and I will see you guys in the next video.